Can you spot the mistakes that this following dater made with this woman during the time dating her that caused her to eventually pull away and lose interest? If you've been following my content for any amount of time, I've talked about a variety of things that men do within the first few dates that can cause women to start to lose interest. And so I'm going to read over a scenario that I found on Reddit. I'm going to read through the entire thing, and then we're going to go back through and see what are some of the major mistakes that he made. And there are five big ones that if you as a guy aren't paying attention or don't know about, you could be losing women that actually would date you. Now, I do want to preface this by saying that even if you're dating a woman and doing everything right, sometimes at the end of the day, there's just not going to be that long-term chemistry that either you feel or that she feels. So we always have to make room for the possibility that just because a woman loses interest, it doesn't mean you did anything wrong. It could just mean that for whatever reason, she realized you two just weren't going to be compatible long-term for a variety of reasons. For example, I never wanted kids. If I dated a woman and we got along great and she found out I didn't want kids and she wanted kids, regardless of how well we got along, chances are she's not gonna wanna stick around long-term. So that's just an example. So, but with that said, there are women out there that legitimately do like you and things start off well, but then if you're not aware of mistakes that you're making, they could start to lose interest over time. And you're gonna think the things you're doing are not big deals, but they very much could be to her. So let's go ahead and read through this guy's scenario and then we'll get into where we spot mistakes that he made. Uh, he's 30 years old. He met a woman who's also 30. He says, I met this amazing woman off of Hinge at the beginning of October. Our first date went very well, and we both clarified we were both looking for long-term relationship. We hugged, kissed, held hands, and took photos together on our first date. Afterwards, she texted me uh, that she had a very good time. As a result, I asked her on a second date immediately, and she said, yes, definitely. And we scheduled a second date. Our second date was at a haunted house. It went very well. We hugged each other and kissed. And during the haunted house, she was clinging on to me, holding me, and we held hands while we went through part of the haunted house. It truly felt like we had a connection. Halfway through the haunted house, we caught up to the other people. And at that point, it wasn't scary. And we just walked in a single file line through the haunted house. I sensed she wasn't having fun anymore at the haunted house. Afterwards, we grabbed a bite to eat at a nearby restaurant, and at the end, I told her I have a surprise for her. We went to my car, grabbed a couple blankets as well as wine, and found a place to sit down. She denied the wine, saying she had to drive, totally understandable, and said she had to leave in 30 minutes. I kind of felt defeated since I could tell her vibe changed during the haunted house. She rejected the wine, which I understand, and told me she had to leave and told me she had to leave in 30 minutes. However, I still tried my best to keep the vibes going. After sitting under the blankets, or I guess on top of the blankets, and talking for about 30 minutes about life, she said she better get going. At that point, we started to make out. After we finished making out, we folded the blankets and left. I walked into her car, gave her quite a few more kisses goodbye, and she left. I knew the second date didn't go as well as the first date, but she texted me when she got home and said I had a good time. I told her I had a good time too, and hopefully we could do something again soon. She said, yes, I'll get back to you in a day or two once I see how this week is going. After a couple of days of texting, but not telling me when she was free, I just threw it out there that I was going for a run after work tomorrow and asked if she wanted to come along because she's a runner. Uh, mind you, I texted her earlier in the evening. Later that night, she texts me back saying she actually went for a long run earlier that night and she doesn't think running would be the best idea, but proposed us running together this past Monday instead. Between the time we scheduled the run and the time we went on the run, the texting vibes changed. She was taking significantly longer to get back to me. Regardless, we met up for the run this past Monday. I hugged her when I saw her. She didn't look for a kiss and we went on a three mile run together. After the run, I asked if she wanted to grab a treat or sweet at a nearby uh, spot that would have a romantic view. She originally said yes, but then asked if I ate dinner. I said no, and she suggested we go to Chipotle instead. After Chipotle, I walked her back to her apartment, hugged her, kissed her goodnight, and we went our separate ways. Afterwards, I text her I had a good time with her, and she said, same here. Wednesday morning, so this is two days later, 
I asked her if she would be willing to go on a fourth date where we would watch our favorite college football team and cook dinner together. She took 13 hours to get back to me, but ultimately said, sorry, I meant to get back to you sooner, but I was busy and wanted a little time to think things over. I've enjoyed our dates and I feel like we have a lot in common, but I'm not feeling that strong connection I'm looking for in a relationship and I have a lot going on right now. What does that even mean? Did she want some picture perfect Hallmark movie type of connection? I'm looking back and I don't know what went wrong. Over the span of three dates, we hugged, kissed, held hands, made out, and took pictures together. It felt very relationship-like. So, upon going over that, if you're a new guy that is struggling with dating and you've been used to like watching TV, listening to songs, and getting your intel from those various places, you may read this and, figure, and think to yourself, why did she lose interest? Like, what's going on? He seemingly did everything right. He took her out, showed her a good time. He talked about wanting to be in a long-term relationship. He was texting her constantly. Like, what did he do that made her lose interest? And that's why I'm here, because if you're new to this or you're not aware, like I have been for the past 20 years, then you're not going to be able to see the mistakes that went on with this guy in his dating situation. So now we're going to walk you through. I'm not going to read through the whole thing again, but I'm going to go over five major areas where this guy messed up that he is not aware of. So the first big mistake that he constantly made throughout the course of this story is he was asking for dates way too soon after a previous date. For those of you that have followed me for a long time, you know my mantra, you take a woman out, show her a great time, and then you wait a minimum of four days before you reach out to her again to ask for another date. And in between that time, you should not be trying to initiate text to her. You should be waiting for her to hit you up if she wants to do any kind of miscellaneous chit chat, but you are steadfast in you, you're using the phone to ask her out on dates only. And then when you do that, you're, you're waiting several days. You're not taking her out. And then when she texts you that night, try to set up another date. You're not waiting one or two days before you reach out because that's still not quite enough time for her to sit with herself and rethink over the date and how she felt about it. So this guy constantly was either waiting a minimum of the same day to like one or two days to ask her out again. And as you can see, she started responding back less and less because that is not enough time that he's giving her to actually sit down and really go over how does she feel about the date? What does she like about the interaction? How did the kisses feel? Has she even had time to talk to her girlfriends about these dates that she's going on? Probably not, which means you haven't given her time to talk with her crew, which would help her then build up excitement to wanna see you again, all right? So this is why I tell you guys that you don't need to think that you gotta rush in and ask for all these dates. I've literally waited four days, 10 days, two weeks, months, years to ask women for future dates. And because I'm patient and because I know my worth and they understand the good time they're going to have with me, they're willing to wait for me to reach out to ask them out again. And all it's doing in the meantime is building up anticipation. And that is what women need in part to build attraction. So that's the first mistake he made. The second mistake he made was extending dates for too long instead of getting out at the height of her enjoyment. So if we go back to the second date, right? He went to a haunted house. And by the end of that date, he could tell that, you know, because how they had to go single file towards the end, it, the, the energy might have been a little bit off. Or the point is, whatever height of enjoyment she had had on that date, it was starting to just lessen a little bit. This is not the time for you to try to drag out a date longer. You always want to try to get out at the height of her enjoyment. So at the point where they did the, did the haunted house, that would have been the perfect time to be like, hey, this is a great date. Had a great time seeing you. You know what? I know you're busy. I'm busy, but let's, we'll set up something later on, but thanks for coming out. And then been out. But what did he do instead? He already felt the vibe kind of lessening. And he said, hey, let's go out to dinner. So let's, let's factor in the date, right? Let's say the haunted house was about an hour long. And then he says, hey, let's go to dinner. So now that's another hour. So now that's two hours of time that she had to spend with this guy on a second date. And then at the point where she's like, hey, I kind of got to go home. He's like, wait. I got a surprise. And then he pops out a blanket and some wine. So all he's doing now is he's extending the date far beyond the, the point and height of enjoyment that would have allowed her to go home on a high and been like, oh my God, I really can't wait to see this guy again. Instead, he's forcing her 
to have to extend her time with him. And early on in the dating process, if a woman, as a woman's trying to build her attraction to you, she's slowly starting to open up to the idea of spending more and more time with you, but it has to be her decision to want to do that. For example, I've dated women before where I'll plan like a date at one spot, make it like 90 minutes tops. At the end, I'm driving her home and then she'll be like, hey, I'm having such a good time. I don't want this to end. Let's go someplace else. So at that point, I'm hearing from her that she's open to spending more time. And because it's her choice to do that, it's not going to bite me in the butt later because she's the one that suggested it. Versus if I just said, hey, I know the date's supposed to be over, but let's go someplace else. A woman's not going to tell me on that date, oh, but I'm tired. I got work the next day. I got things to do because she doesn't want to hurt my feelings. So she might go along with it, but that doesn't mean that she wanted to do that. So you err on the side of keeping your date shorter, like 90 minutes to two hours max. And then if she wants more of your time, trust me, she will speak up and ask for it. Versus what this guy did, which was take her out launch where she had to be like, oh, I only got like 30 minutes. Oh my God. Which by the way was a lie. She was just ready for the date to be over. And I know that may seem like an insult to you guys, but understand again, as she's getting to know you, like getting to know a new person is its own level of energy and that she has to put on a front for a decent amount of time. And like, woman doesn't want to do that like for hours on end and, and on dates where she doesn't know if they're going to end at all. So you have to do her the favor of making the date short in the beginning. Again, you're cutting the date short at the height of enjoyment to where she can build anticipation to see you another time versus having that anticipation lesson to where she doesn't want to be around you because you're keeping her out longer and you're not leaving when you should leave. The third mistake that this guy made is he talked about wanting a long-term relationship. Now I know they met on the dating apps. Chances are in his dating profile, he probably filled out the section that said, what kind of relationship are you looking for? Oh, I'm looking for long-term. I don't recommend you guys ever fill that portion out of the online dating segment of your dating app. And I go into reasons why that is in my program, Smart Digital Dating, which is a part of my Get Girls Academy that you can find out more about at harrywilmington.com. But suffice to say, so even though it was on his profile, him actually being in person and, and verbalizing, oh, I'm looking for a long-term relationship. Oh my God, I hope this works out because I'm, I can see the potential of being long-term. Guys, it does not matter what you want out of this situation. All that matters is how is she feeling? And on a first date, even if she's thinking down the road, I want to potentially have a long-term relationship, she doesn't want to hear that from you on a first date. I'm sorry, you can fight me about that all day. I'm telling you, you speaking future speak, you talking about her potentially being the one that you're in a long-term relationship with, it subconsciously makes women feel as if you've already chosen them and they have a three month journey to go through before they have those same feelings. So you should at no time be verbalizing things like, yeah, I can see a long-term relationship with you. Oh, I totally have feelings for you already. Oh my God, you're so great. I can see you as my person. Like. Even if you're feeling that, that's great. You show that by continuing to ask her out. But when you verbalize that, it plants this little seed in a woman's head that says, he's already chosen me, which means I have to choose him. And at the point that women start feeling like it's not their choice to choose you, that's when you really start to lose them. So that's his third big mistake. The fourth mistake this guy made, and it's the one that all guys make, is consistently texting her between dates. As I said in part one, you should only be texting women to get dates. And so you'll notice this is the same story that I I've read time and time again on this show about a guy who was texting a girl in the beginning. And then as they started to date each other more and more, he was texting her more. And then all of a sudden her text started to get less and less. It is such a trope that I should darn near start talking, stop talking about it because it, it, it just happens so much that I probably say it in most of my videos. But suffice to say guys, yeah, as a woman starts to see you in person more, the anticipation becomes anticipating to see you, anticipating hearing from you. It is not actually being able to have constant access to you. So as you start to see a girl in person, yes, you as the guy need to stop initiating all these texts. If anything, you need to have her be the one that initiates more texts than you do, and you save your texts for asking her out on dates. And I'm still for phone calls personally, but I get it, we're in the texting genre, so text, but text her for dates. Do not text this in-between stuff where you're trying to like, you know, build rapport and ask her about her date. Because as you can see from this story, this woman was responding back less and less. She was like going from responding right away to taking hours to respond and was probably giving him like one or two word answers because she's thinking, 
I just saw you yesterday. I don't need to hear from you today. And again, women are not going to verbalize that because it, to their in their brain, it sounds stupid to say that. Like, it sounds stupid to be like, why would I not want to hear from him if I'm in fact dating him and kind of want to like, hopefully make this a long-term thing. And it's because they're not aware that all this texting actually turns them off. But you got to be aware of that because you're going to find that as you text women less, you're going to have them stay around a lot longer. It sounds counterproductive, but hey, I'm just telling you what's worked for me. I find I texted less. I got more dates, more relationships, more hookups. So hopefully it'll be the same for you. And then the fifth thing really overall is just that he appeared very, very thirsty. The totality of his actions to this woman gave her the read that he must be really desperate. He must be really needy for attention. He must not have any other prospects because think about it. If he, if you're constantly texting a girl all the time, always asking her out on dates, constantly trying to be up in her face, trying to extend dates nonstop, that reads to a woman that you have nothing else going on but her. And women do not want to be the focal point of your life. At least healthy women that have a good head on their shoulders. They have the understanding that you as the guy should have other things going on. You should have goals that you're chasing after, friends and family to visit. Heck, in the beginning, she's hoping that she's competing for you with potentially other women that you're seeing. Now, you don't need to necessarily be seeing other women, but the vibe that you're giving off when you're trying to see her all the time is that no other women want you. And that's key. She has to get the impression that other women want you not you are desperate for other women. And when you're doing all the things that I talked about here, that's the feeling that you're giving off, even if you're not aware of it, okay? So listen back through the whole story now and see if you can pick out the things that I was talking about in terms of the various mistakes that he made. Because at the end of the day, as I, as I just want to, want to clarify that this guy could have done everything absolutely right and this woman could have still been like, eh, I'm not interested because it is a numbers game. And like I said earlier, there are times where you're going to date somebody and just the, the chemistry is not there. But I find more often than not, most guys lose women that they had a shot with because of making mistakes that to us seem like no big deal. Like you're thinking, I mean, if I text her nonstop, how's that a big deal? But to women, these small things that we think are small, are small instances are big red flags for women that cause them to get the ick feeling and wanna lose interest. Now, if you wanna figure out the right things that you should be doing and the pace that you should be going at in order to effectively get more women and keep them around longer, I highly recommend you check out my Get Girls Academy, which you can find out more info about at harrywilmington.com. This program is chock full of my best programs that teach you the ins and outs of a, a variety of things as it pertains to attraction, dating, and getting women, from how to approach them, what kind of dates to take them on, the things that they're actually wanting from men, how to better communicate with them, and of course, how to actually get into a relationship with them by following a set blueprint that's going to help you immensely get the women that you want. So again, you can find out all about that program, the Get Girls Academy at harrywilmington.com. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to give it a like and a subscribe and check out harrywilmington.com for my eBooks, audiobooks, and programs, all designed to help you be a more effective dater and get the women that you truly want. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.